These diodes are ESMD diodes or surface mounted devices, okay? And over here we have THD diode or true hole technology diode. As you can see, we have ZD means Zener diode. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to check and test Zener diode. This is a Zener diode, okay, or crystal diodes, okay? Always you should locate first the cathode and the anode of the diode. As you can see here we have D. The reference for the diode is D, as you can see. So first let's put the multimeter to the diode option or the continuity option. And let's get started. So first as I told you before, you should locate first the cathode. So the cathode is located with the band in the body of the diode, or as you can see, the black line or, or the black band means the cathode. So let's check the continuity first. And let's put the black probe of the multimeter in the cathode and the red probe in the plus or the anode. As you can see, we have a reading in the multimeter. This is a good diode. If we switch the probes, we should not get any reading, as you can see. Okay? Means this is a good diode. Let's check this diode also. So the black probe is in the cathode, where we have the band or the line, and the red probe in the anode we get a reading if we swap the probes no reading means this is a good diode let's check this diode also so as you can see the black probe in the cathode and the red probe in the anode we get a reading okay we have plus here as you can see the plus terminal or the anode we switch the probes no reading means this is a good diode okay here we gotta check other diodes. I hope that we find a bad diode. Normally a bad diode, when you get a continuity or a basal in the multimeter, means the diode is bad. Here, this white mark means the cathode. Okay, here we have D as you can see. So let's check. We should get a reading. As you can see, we get a reading in the multimeter. If we switch the probes, no reading. Easy, okay? Means the diode is good. Let's check the diodes, other diodes. We get a reading here. We should get a reading, it's okay. Let's check these two diodes also. As you can see, the white mark means the cathode. We get a reading. Here also we get a reading. So all these diodes are good. So if we swap the probes, no reading. No reading, okay? So this is how you can check the diode. Here, these diodes are ESMD diodes or surface mounted devices, okay? And over here, we have THD diode or true hole technology diode. As you can see, we have ZD means Zener diode, as you can see. So to test this kind of diodes, the same working principle. You should always get a ready in one side and in the other side no ready. And here we have the terminals. That's why we call it THT, true hole technology device. So always you should locate the negative terminal or the cathode. Here we have the cathode. As you can see, the white mark means the cathode. Always the paint or the white mark means the cathode. So let's check and test these two diodes. So we should always locate the cathode. We get a ready in the multimeter. Okay. So if we switch the props, we should not get any ready. No ready means this is a good diode. Let's check the second diode. So here we have the cathode. We get a ready. If we swap the props, no ready means this is a good diode okay so we have seen in this video how to test zener diode 
SMD diodes and THD diodes.